the U.S. Labor Department estimates that 70% of all U.S. businesses misclassify people, 70%. Well, how hard is it to classify somebody? It can be almost impossible in some instances. Now, if you have somebody that's coming in and, you know, they're pulling stuff off the shelf and putting it in boxes and shipping it out, you've got to pay them overtime. It's real simple, okay? But if they're a professional, if they're a teacher, if they're a computer programmer, if they're highly compensated, there's a whole lot of rules that say these people are exempt from overtime. And it's not just how much you pay them. And you can't choose. You can't say, I'm going to put you on salary and not pay you overtime. You have to follow the law. If you don't, when they audit you, you're going to pay the price. You're going to have to pay all the overtime, and then you're going to have to pay all the taxes you didn't pay, and you're going to have to pay penalties and interest on top of it. It can be extraordinarily expensive. I've seen clients literally be put out of business over it. Well, that's why they need advice from someone like you. Absolutely. And then independent contractor versus employee. For instance, if you start a corporation and you work in it, you're an employee. Whether you think you are or not, you are. But an independent contractor, there's basically 20 common law rules that determine whether you're an independent contractor or not. And they include who sets the schedule, uh, can you make a profit or a loss, are you at risk, a number of other things. The IRS didn't like them. They've set their own set of rules that they prefer. And just recently, uh, the Department of Labor has put out a new set of rules for determining an independent contractor. And they are a major change. And if they are approved, it's going to major change how you determine an independent contractor versus an employee. Again, if you pay them as an independent contractor, and the IRS or the state comes in and says, no, they're an employee, all the taxes that you should have withheld that you paid them, you now have to pay and sue the employee to get it back, plus penalties and interest. And again, it can put you out of business. So you have to be very careful how you classify people. 